Hey guys, welcome to Market Movers. It is great to be back. It's been a couple of weeks since we had our last video on this channel. We've been spending time trying to sort things out here and there so we can keep on improving things for you. But in that short amount of time, so much has happened. And isn't that just the story over this past year that from one week to the next, one month to the next, things just changed so drastically. So if we think about it, the last couple of weeks, we've had central bank speeches, announcements, rumors, we've got a possible new wave of COVID cases emerging. And how about that poor old trapped ship in the Suez Canal that was holding back billions of dollars of global trade? That's luckily been moved now. We've had President Biden's first press conference and this strange speech, a wedding speech over the past weekend from former President Trump. They said, get 66 million votes, sir, and the election's over. Well, I got 75 million, and they said, but you know, you saw what happened. 10.30 in the evening, all of a sudden, they said, that's a strange thing. Why are they closing up certain places? But, you know, a lot of things happening right now. I just wanted to say, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to have you at Mar-a-Lago. You are a great and beautiful couple. I'm not going to play the whole clip, but check it out, it is a cringe fest. It's sort of like there's this competition going on at the moment of which unique event can be most left field and absolutely crazy. And you know what, at the end of last week we had another one that competes right up there with the very best of them, and that was the situation with Archigo's Capital, the family office of oddball investor Bill Huang, which unleashed a fire sale in the markets on Friday. Now, the fund may only be a private family office, but they're managing tens of billions of dollars. So they don't just cause a ripple in the markets, they can cause quite a wave. And that's exactly what's been happening. They had exposure to assets that were tumbling last week, such as Viacom and Discovery. But since they were heavily leveraged, this led to them encountering a margin call. Now, for those of you that have been trading for a while, just hearing the term margin call might make you feel a certain something in your stomach. You've probably encountered it before when your broker's on the line telling you need to put up capital or risk being liquidated. And that's basically what happens. You know, the counterparty for the leverage demands that you put up extra capital or you're forced into liquidation. And clearly, Archgo's had to liquidate. And what followed is one of the most sensational blow-ups of a hedge fund in recent history. It's right up there with the likes of LTCM. They were frantically selling around $20 billion of Chinese and US stocks on Friday. But it wasn't just them that were suffering. These losses spread further than Archigo's. Their brokers include Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, UBS, Credit Suisse, and Nomura. Now, Credit Suisse have already put out a statement today saying, a significant US-based hedge fund defaulted on margin calls made last week by Credit Suisse and certain other banks. Following the failure of the fund to meet these margin commitments, Credit Suisse and a number of other banks are in the process of exiting these positions. So they've confirmed that it will be impacting their profit for this quarter. Meanwhile, Nomura have also confirmed that there will be losses for them as well, which are expected to be big enough that they might even wipe out their entire profit from the second half of this financial year. But it's really difficult to feel that bad for these companies. I think the FT this afternoon summed it up really nicely in an article they released, where they said, what on earth were some of the world's biggest investment banks thinking when they enabled an opaque family office whose founder had a history of regulatory issues to rack up multi-billion dollars worth of leverage? Like, it really does make you wonder. Anyway, with the US market about to open at the time of filming this, it's not certain right now whether the fire sale ended on Friday or if it will have to continue this week. But either way, I think lessons will need to be learned from this situation. Again, it's what Warren Buffett called derivatives, the financial weapon of mass destruction or something like that. Well, it's once again derivatives causing major problems. Some bankers in Japan that are close to this whole situation have referred to this as a Lehman Brothers moment. So one of these situations where you really have to question regulations and what banks are doing that have allowed this to happen. And also, what a time to blow up an investment fund when stocks in the US are at all-time highs. They've had the best 12-month gain since 1936, with a huge move of 75%. What are these pesky suits thinking this year? 
Anyway, that's all for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section and tell me how your positions have been doing over the past couple of weeks since we last spoke. What trades have you opened? What have you been doing? I'll be back with plenty more this week. So hit a thumbs up button, subscribe and stay safe in the markets. It's crazy out there. Take care guys.